Bill loves it out there. He's in his element. I think he has a tattoo that says shag life. I'm not sure, but, but I think so. We'll see. All right, let's talk about the city of Charleston. They're working to preserve the peninsula before it's too late. City officials say the flooding we saw with Italia could be a regular occurrence in just 20 to 25 years, threatening history and destroying the economy. Our Molly McBride tells us about their plan and how locals are reacting. If we look back at last Wednesday as an example, um, if this is a continuation and if this is something that we're going to see moving forward, then, you know, we're we're going to be financially, you know, hit with that. General Manager of the establishment Brian Jerusik says in order to keep business afloat, flooding on the peninsula needs to be addressed. He says they were shut down Wednesday due to flooding and transportation issues. We can firmly say that something needs to be done in the positive. What that is, we we defer to the experts on that one. The city of Charleston's chief resilience officer, Dale Morris, says the flooding the city experienced during Idalia could happen several times a month in 20 to 25 years, with the sea level expected to rise nearly two feet by then. We anticipate that kind, those kinds of events occurring three, four, five times a month in the future. And we better do something about it now, or we're going to lose a large portion of the edge of the peninsula. But he says the city has a plan. They're working with the Army Corps of Engineers to build an elevated edge around the peninsula, similar to the height of the high battery. It would stretch from Wagner Terrace to just north of the Ravenel Bridge and cost around $1.3 billion in total. 65% of that would be paid by the federal government. We know what, what's going to happen. We have to prepare for it because it takes so long. Right now, the city is negotiating a design agreement with the Army Corps of Engineers that's expected to take an additional one to three months. From there, Morris says the agreement will go to city council and up the chain of command for the Army Corps of Engineers. If all goes as planned, the city says they could start the design phase of the project next spring. But Morris says that first phase of design for the west side of the peninsula could take up to two years before heading back to city council. Reporting for Live 5 News, I'm Molly McBride.